right, here we are. Uh, since we did a first impressions video of Golf 5 E-Club, um, it seemed only fair to try out uh, Xvariance Golf and uh, give you a look at that too. A little quick first impressions of that. So here we go. First, your cho first choice is right and left controller. So straight away that answers any lefties uh, concerns about being able to play it. And here we are. Hi, welcome to the golf club. If it's your first time here, click on the how to play screen for a short overview of the game. Well, I've already uh, done the training yesterday. I tried to record a video, but um, the Oculus video recording feature isn't that great. If you run out of power, your videos get corrupted, and if you go longer than a certain time, and I think it hits the 4 gigabyte limit, then your videos don't end properly and end up getting corrupted too. So Oculus, if you're hearing this, you really need to fix that. If, if we're recording a long video, just split the video, and if your system's about to shut off, it should at least save and close the video file before it shuts off. Anyway, so here we go. We've got your training, you got your online multiplayer, you can look at your stats, um, you've got a whole bunch of settings here. Uh, index for your hold, club preset vibration. So you've got low settings to look at. You've got practice playground, you've got different driving ranges, and you've got your golf courses, which is the main feature. So let's jump into that. So, players, one player, leaderboard, tees, practice a hold, play. Um, well, there's a cave lakes mirrored and there's a cave lake so it's it is essentially one uh, one course much like uh, golf 5 e club um, I'm not sure if I can actually select how many holes I'm playing so yeah um, maybe there's a way to do it earlier on but I just didn't notice um, so anyway here we go I'll play I won't play all 18 holes because that's going to last forever, so I'll just play the first nine or so and you can take a look at it. Um, that's your wind indicator there. You can switch between the clubs you're using by clicking the A button, so if I do that, see, it'll, see, you can see right there, it's uh, cycling between all the clubs. Um, this shows you how much power you've got. It's, it's, you know, you've got the display that's sort of like a camera that follows the wall, much like you've got in Golf 5 E-Club. Um, you've got your stats, you can look at that. Uh, you've got different options here. You've got the grid works in the putter, uh, in, the, in the green, so that you can see the lay of the land. Um, and uh, you've got a flyover that might give you motion sickness if you're prone to it because it basically, um, I'll show you, here you go, it takes off and if you've got motion sickness it's definitely going to mess with you, um, but it takes off and it sort of shows you the whole course, it flies you from uh, the T to the hole, so if you're into that, there you go, let's see, anyway, press the to return, okay. So here we are, and Okay, the way it works here is you lock, you sort of, at least in this mode, I'm sure there's a pro mode that's different, but in the initial mode, you basically, you can sort of lock the angle of your hit, and then you uh, whack it. And I seem to have a better sense for controlling the strength here. It seems to have more to do with, oh boy, that was a terrible shot. Just don't go into the water, please. Of course it goes into the water first shot and I go into the water. Let's uh, let's not aim. Actually, let's try going wild there, that way. Yeah, I did exactly the same thing, basically. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe not hit it so hard, or hit it at least towards a straight. Let's do that. And not as hard as possible. Let's try to do a reasonable shot. Look, there's no point trying to reach for green in one shot if I'm that bad at it. Okay, so here we go. Now we want to cross. So 
Yeah, see, it shows you the curve that you're hitting. As long as you've got the trigger button down, it sort of locks your shot into that angle. There's the wind, so let's counter for it a little bit. Uh, let's say hit it that way. Okay. And here we go. That doesn't look too bad at all, actually. That's not a bad shot. Maybe I'm gonna make up for uh, those two wasted shots right at the start. See, so now it would be useful to turn on the grid. And you can turn on the grid and it sort of shows you, overlays the grid and shows you a layer of the green. Again, you press the... My understanding is that if you don't have the trigger down, you're and that green circle shows up, then you're not really gonna hit, so I think that's true. Yeah, see? Nothing. But if I, ha if I have the trigger button held down, then the green lights up, and it means I can hit the ball. Okay. See, the, I like the ball physics in this game, um, especially in the put putting. I like it a lot more than in uh, Golf 5 VR. The ball moves naturally and there's, there's not that really abrupt stop that happens when your ball runs out of steam on the green. Um, and like I said, I generally have a better feel for the strength of shots here. Um, so anyway, let's see. Okay, I'll hit it a little bit that way. Which way is wind heading that way? So, okay, fair enough. Here we go. And there we go. That doesn't look like too bad a shot. 100% strength. And here we go. Okay, I I don't want to end up in the water again, so I'm going to Where's the wind going that way? Okay, so I'm hopefully gonna do that and not hit the tree, but still end up on the fairway. I hit the tree. Just don't go into the water, please. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop! Into the water. I hit the tree and ended up in the water. Both scenarios happened. So let's just uh, maybe, maybe go this way, but not hit it quite so hard so that it doesn't go too high and end up hitting the tree. Sure, let's see. Oh, still hit the tree. But at least I'm still on the fairway this time after the tree. Alright, let's go. The wind is still that way. Make it a little more. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, let's go for that let's angle. Yeah, but I'm gonna go into the sand, into the bunker. Okay, try to get it there. A little harder than it needed to be. Let's uh, get the grid on. Seems to be leaning that way downwards, so... Not too bad. But yeah, if you see, the way the, the way the ball moves on the green looks a lot more natural to me, physics-wise, than it did in, uh, in uh, oh. Golf 5 E-Club. Even if I'm failing. Okay. Eleven shots, and on a par 5. Beautiful. That's what I get for all the water shots. Alright, here we go. The wind is that way. So let's aim a little bit this way. Alright. And this one is pretty many yards, but this is good. Huh. So I should hit pretty hard, but maybe try not to hit it totally full strength. Let's go. I still hit it full strength, so I'm gonna overshoot. Whoa! That would have been a nice hole-in-one if it had landed there, but it was pretty close. Okay. 
the wedge is 104 of a distance, so I want to hit it like not quite too strong. Good, it's still that way. Could have been better. Let's get green the grid. That's a very tricky grid. Um Okay. Good horse. Oh man. Oh. Five shots on par three. It's a little better than last time, I suppose. We chose this now. Oh four. Okay. There we go, it's over there. And the wind is strongly that way, so let's uh, do that. Let's whack it as hard as we can. Not too bad. Okay, the wind is on my side. So let's sit it, but not too hard. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just don't mess up the putt. This is the finish. You need to know. No, it doesn't look too bad. There we go. I finally got a birdie. That way, so let's go a little that way. Here we go. That doesn't look too bad. Just don't go past. Yeah, that's a good location. As you can see, the graphics in the game aren't bad, although they, I mean, they look a little, they look a little less polished than the graphics in uh, Golf Five E Club. Um, and the presentation, I mean. It's very functional, but it but it doesn't look as good. the The graphics and the interface they just aren't quite as good as as what you're seeing in uh, Golf Five E Club. But to me, the physics and the core like mechanics of swinging and hitting the ball and and it it feels better to me, even if the presentation isn't quite that good as the other one, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I, it just feels like a better game of golf, to be honest. Um, you may not like the locking thing, but I'm guessing you could probably, probably turn that off at some point, if you wanted to, maybe in, in the initial settings, I'm really not quite sure. Um, oh boy, that was way too hard. And that's a very far par. Let's take a look at the grid. Yeah, it's not helping much considering how far it is. Okay. Okay, this is something that I've noticed with the game. For some reason, if you've got a if you've got a putt that's at a distance, um it my my the golf the golf club doesn't always hit the ball. Like see? It just I don't know what's going on there. I have no idea. If you have played this game and you've got experience, please let me know what I'm doing wrong. And it only seems to work if I hit it really softly, sort of pushing it instead of striking it. But then I end up with a short shot. So I'm really not quite sure why this happens. And it only happens when um, I'm putting from a distance, using when I'm, when I'm at a distance using a putter. I don't know why that happens. I have no idea. See, it's doing it again. Again, and it looks like I should be hitting it, I mean, but I'm not. And then I end up hitting it when I'm not meaning to because I'm swinging too many times. So it, it is annoying when you've got to putt from a distance, unless there's really just something that I don't understand that I'm doing wrong. Well, that was close. 
so yeah, putting from a distance seems to be problematic. Um, if it weren't for that, I, I think I would generally uh, have no pr trouble with the game. Um, so let's see now. Here we go. Hole six. I said I'll play nine holes, so let's give it three holes. Uh, the wind is going that way, it's against us. And this is 123. I should just whack it. Okay, here we go. But I also want to whack it a little more in that direction since the wind is. Okay, here we go. Oops. Yeah. I, not what I intended. Alright, let's go. Stop. Okay, this looks really uphill. And a little bit leaning to the right. So let's... Yep. Yeah. It's doing it again. I don't know what's wrong. I would love to know what's happening here, and why this goes on. I mean, it seems like such a glaring issue that I that I almost think I must be doing something wrong. Um, but I don't know what it is I've been doing wrong. over the bunker. Oh, come on, come on. Not quite. Yeah, that's far. It's going to give me one of those annoying putts where the putt isn't working and I don't know why. Unless I just change it and go for a... Let's go for a putting wedge instead. Yeah. Then I don't have that problem. 64. Okay. Yeah, see, with a putting wedge, I don't get that problem. It only happens oh. with the putter, and I don't know why. It could be some game design choice that I just don't know about. Maybe when uh, you're too far for a putter, it sort of just goes through a ball, but in that case, why does it not go through it when I hit it softly? And in that case, why is it automatically giving me a putter anyway? No idea. Again, if you guys know the answer, let us know, let me know, because it's confusing the hell out of me. Hopefully not too hard. Oh, a little too soft. I was worried about hitting it too hard. And again, it's giving me a putter, and I don't want the putter at this distance anymore. I've learned my lesson. Give me a putting wedge. And it's 41 feet. Let's hit it a little softly. Too hard. A little too hard. Is it good like? Okay. Don't hit it too hard. There we go. Three shots on part three. So I'm on I'm par. Hole nine, so this will be the last hole we try out before we End, it, end this, and the uh, wind's going that way, so maybe a little like that, and let's whack away! I, ooh, ow, ooh, okay, not so bad, not so bad. Barely, 
I'm going to hit the bunker, I know it. Of course, straight into it. <laughs> Not even a chance of bouncing out. Okay. Yeah, could have hit that a little harder. And again, this is a far putter, so it's not going to work. Yeah, of course it's not going to work for some reason. Again, I don't know what's wrong. So let's go for the putting wedge again. Here we go. Could have hit it a little harder. Is it going to work from this distance? I hope. And I'm in. Par 4, 5 shots. Too bad. So let's get out of here. Well, we can look at my stats before we go. So here we go. There is a scoreboard. And I'm not doing that well, obviously. What is this? It's like a bird's eye view. And, uh, okay. Let's go to my home. Would you like to end play? Yes. Uh, so there you have it. This is Experience Golf Club. It's on App Lab and not on the official store. Um, is it called Experience Golf Club or just Experience Golf? I'm not so sure. But anyway, it's on the App Lab uh, for some reason. It's not on the official store, whereas Golf 5 E Club is, maybe because uh, I don't know, the better polish or whatever. But um, you might have noticed from the game. I generally feel, that, like I said, the physics here are better, um, the ball physics and the putting physics in general, except for that one where I just don't know what's wrong with not being able to hit it from a distance with a putter. Um, the, the sort of graphics are more realistic in Golf 5 E Club, and the presentation is generally more realistic. This kind of looks, I mean, you know, you can see what it looks like. It looks, it, it's functional, but it's not exactly um, the neatest, prettiest prettiest interface you'll see. Um, so there you go. You've got your golf courses, different driving ranges, with, uh, and you've got a, well, technically you've got a, more than Golf 5 E-Club in the sense that you've got uh, the, Moon Link, the Moon Link's nine hole course, but you could say that Golf 5 E-Club makes up for that by having uh, the mini golf um, section, even though I found the mini golf section very disappointing when compared to a full-fledged mini-golf game like Walkabout Mini-Golf. Um, so chances are if you know if I were playing both these games I would probably spend more time on the Moon Lynx course than I would on the Mini-Golf and Golf 5 E-Club. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's a, well, quick, not so quick because after all this is golf. Look at experience golf to uh, so you can sort of look at look at this and our first impressions of golf 5 e club and decide which one looks more like something you'd enjoy have a good day if you like our videos or if you find them useful in any way please show us some love you can give us a like you can give us a subscribe you can click the little notify bell to be notified by YouTube every time we release a new video and uh, leave us a comment let us know what we're doing right let us know what we're doing wrong um, and if there's something you'd like to see us do or some video uh, some videos you'd like to see us make uh, let us know 